Hello, and thank you for watching our ActiLife training video. In this video, we'll show you how to initialize your ActiGraph GT 9X link device using the ActiLife software. Let's begin by opening ActiLife and making sure the Devices tab is selected. Once the page loads, you can connect your ActiGraph device by inserting it into the docking station. Note that you can initialize multiple devices at once. However, the parameters of each device will be the same. Make sure that any previously collected data has already been downloaded, as the initialization process will clear the device's memory. Making sure the checkbox next to the device is selected, click the Initialization button, and then select Regular Initialization. This will open the initialization floating window, and we can now set our data collection parameters. A start date and time must be set. Note that the start time must be at least two minutes in the future. A stop date and time is not required for initialization. However, we will be entering it for the purpose of this tutorial. With the dates and times set, we can now adjust the modes of the device. The sample rate will allow the device to collect data at intervals ranging from 30 to 100 hertz, or 30 to 100 samples per second. The collection mode will remain in the raw format, but you also have the ability to turn on epic data collection. Wireless options will enable or disable any wireless features or accessories that are compatible with your device. These options include Enable Wireless, which will turn on the device's wireless features and unlock the remainder of your options. And Heart Rate, which will instruct your device to pair with the closest wireless compatible heart rate monitor. Note that you must enable wireless if you plan to use our mobile applications. The idle sleep mode allows your device to enter a sleep or low power state after experiencing 10 seconds of inactivity in order to preserve battery life. This can be enabled or disabled. The GT9X link contains a display screen, which you can choose to turn on or off. If you select on, then you can activate additional features by selecting options. These additional features are 24-hour time, subject feedback, which includes steps, and show kcals. Once you have selected your options, select Accept. We know that not every researcher will want the subject to receive feedback, so the device defaults to the off position. The GT9X link also contains an IMU sensor, which can be turned on or off. Note that activation of the IMU sensor will dramatically reduce the battery life. When the IMU sensor is turned on, you can then select Options and a new floating window will appear. Here you will be able to view all of the features of the IMU sensor, which include additional accelerometer, a gyroscope, a magnetometer, and a temperature gauge. You also have the ability to turn any of these off if you choose. Once you've made your selections, click Accept. Anything that's not covered in this video can be explored by clicking the blue question mark buttons next to each data collection parameter. This will take you to our help page for additional information. Once your device's parameters are set, you can enter the subject's information by clicking the button in the bottom right corner. The subject information isn't required for initialization, but it can be entered to better manage your devices. If you choose to keep your subject's information private, the device's serial number can be used. The serial number will automatically be used by clicking the Use Serial Number option. You will also want to select where on the body the device is being worn.
You can also select Reset to Device Parameters or Clear to reset this information. Once the subject information is set, the device is ready to be initialized. Simply click Initialize One Device in the bottom right corner. This will close the floating window and the progress bar will begin. Once completed, the status will change to finish initializing and the device will begin collecting data as soon as the start time elapses. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.